Hi everyone, this is HCG Girl Talk. I have been um, absent for the past week. Uh, this week uh, five has been kind of a crazy week. Uh, super busy with some women's study and went and was um, helping a friend who has health issues clean her house and that. And then in the later part of the week, I uh, got sick again, got another cold and uh, just been kind of really laid up and been feeling, um, you know, just that cold stuff, but super weak in that. So I just kind of spent the past uh, two days in bed, um, still drinking, trying to drink all my water and, and uh, eating healthy protocol, doing good with that. Um, but I wanted to come and just do a check-in for the week, let you know how my uh, week five went. So today I am on VLCD day uh, 33. Uh, so for the week, I'm just going to go kind of by the week because with being sick and everything, um, there's one day I had a goose egg, one day I dropped like two point something, uh, 2.4 pounds, and then um, today I was back up like 0.8, but I know that super big loss was, I think, with just, you know, laying around so much and um, yeah, I don't know. It just, you know, it's kind of odd being sick. And so my body is still trying to figure out what it's doing, I think. Um, but for my totals for this week, um, I lost 5.5 inches for the week. Um, which brings my five week total for inches at 27.25 inches overall, which I'm really happy about that. And um, my week release, um, my whole release for this whole week was 8.5. Um, and that's including going back up a little bit today. I think my body recovering from being sick. Um, so yeah, so that's, so my total for the five weeks for release is at, today is at 29.7 on day 33. Uh, so I am going um, a little bit over... Well, I'll go over 40 days because I know in another week Tom's going to be here and I want to do a few more days after Tom with my injections on um, my low calorie diet and before I start on P3. So I want my body to kind of regulate and I don't want Tom to have any indication of what my last um, injection uh, weight will be. So um, I think I have about another week in a well, two weeks if you include with Tom I probably about another two weeks before I go on p3 um, so today I uh, am gonna make a soup that I made yesterday um, just you know with having a cold and feeling sick and that I still am tasting you know things and I can still smell things but not super strong and so I was like I want something super healthy um, that's, you know, definitely pop, um, and it's going to really help my body in recovering. So my husband's stepmom is Filipino, and she had made uh, the soup for me one time years ago. I mean, I think my daughter was um, under two, which is, you know, she's 16 now. So it's been a long time, and so I kind of always revert back to this when I have a cold and I'm sick. So I don't know if this is actually Filipino or not, um, but I don't know. It's really delish. So hope you guys try it. Um, I don't even know what to call it. It's like a, a garlic ginger chicken soup. Uh, so what I have here, I'm going to kind of figure out how to do this and I'm just kind of cook, cook it for you as I go. Maybe should have started my um, chicken already, but I have over here. Flip the phone because my phone won't flip. Is I have some um, some garlic, um, and it's chopped, you know, fine, but it's still, you know, diced. Um, and then this is ginger, uh, and then this is uh, shallots and some scallions. Um, the scallions I'll put in last, and then I have my hundred grams just actually a tad bit over 100 grams I'll be honest on that I think it was like three tiny pieces over the um the 100 grams I'm like well 
really don't want to waste that and I didn't have another bag to put it in um, so I just put that in my pan on some medium high heat and figure out where to start putting my my phone here um, start frying that up I, and um, I, I'm sorry I really should have kind of started doing that um, already it would have saved a lot of time so I'm gonna do that and uh, maybe I'll just go around my kitchen and say what's what's kind of going on in my kitchen so over over here on the four main grill you see it's really dirty we use this every day and then I have my spices over here um, on the four main grill today let's see if see maybe leftover shrimp and a green bell pepper I know ew nasty um, <coughs> sorry that light it's really blinding I know sorry um, so today I cooked my husband he is on p3 um, I cooked him some uh, chicken breast and some zucchini and put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on that and uh, sprayed it with a little bit of I can't believe it's not butter spray um, so he's having that and then I also cooked him today for P3 I'm going to just go back to the soup so you see the chickens getting um, a little you know stuck to the pan there which is totally fine so what I do is just add just a tad bit of uh, chicken stock and now that I have that chicken stock in there what I'm going to do is put my phone down and put in that um, ginger and the garlic uh, so don't put your um, your shallots in there uh, right now Oops, sorry um, so that's getting in there so as the chicken is cooking you know you put that garlic in there and you put the see where I hold my phone um, put the garlic in there put the ginger in there and get it going now I really try to use the fresh ingredients when uh, I'm trying to get all the nutritional value that I can I'm really chopping up my chicken I already had it in smaller pieces but I'm really getting it chopped up in there because I just I love having those small pieces because I feel like I'm eating more um, so you see that just going so the garlic and the um, ginger, of course, have all those nutritional values to it. Um, and there's just something about fresh ginger instead of using, you know, the powder, you know, ginger, which is really good. I cooked with the powder ginger a lot because um, sometimes I just forget to get the fresh. Or I, And actually, I haven't been cooking extreme fresh lately and so that's why I love P2 because it reminds you to just go back to healthy eating get back to the basics um, you know eating what's not man-made and what's God made um, now what I did yesterday was I added to this recipe which I never have done is Lynn CC01 got me addicted to this spike um, Spice. And so I put that like a teaspoon in there. And then again, because you know I have my cold, I'm trying to clear my um, sinuses, I have the cayenne pepper. So I'm going to sprinkle that in there too. And that will really help spice that up. Um, the ginger and the garlic alone is really good to help clear your passages, um, especially the ginger. But that's just going to give it a little extra. So all that chicken stock has reduced down. It's getting, you know, it's going to get like a really nice brown um, coloring on the bottom of that pan. And then I'm going to add more of the um, chicken stock in water. So I do about half chicken stock, half water. I'm trying to cut down my chicken stock. I haven't really found a problem with it uh, since, you know, I've been doing HCG. But, you know, I, I just want to go as natural as I can. Um, so see that's got the brown color in there. The chickens definitely cooked now. I'm going to add about a cup of the chicken stock. And let me just put that down for a second. And I'm going to hit it with about another cup of water. Maybe half a cup to a cup. 
This is so filling. So, so filling. Um, let me keep my phone down there. I'm going to add the shallots now, too. Um, so now my shallots are in there. The water, chicken stock, all that good stuff. So that is just going to, I'm going to turn it down to like a simmer. Um, I'm going to cook that for about five minutes on um, medium heat and let the the ginger, especially you want it to get a little bit, you know, uh, tender. The ginger can be a little bit, um, you know, tougher since it's uh, a root. Um, so yeah, back to, whew, sorry, didn't make to, mean to make you dizzy. Back to what I made for my husband, I did um, some shrimp with the bell peppers. Ooh, that light. Shrimp and bell peppers for a fajita for him. We um, have been having these, you know, I know some people, they eat the uh, grassinis or the Melba toast. Um, we have found these tortillas. They're uh, the multi-brand um, tortillas. They're... Uh, La Tortilla Factory, um, smart and delicious, and they're 50 calories, um, and it only has about 1.5 fat in it. Um, so my husband had tried that out first, using uh, eating one of those, and you know, seeing if he just swapped out the Melba toast stream stirring the soup swap out that Melba toast for it and I was really reluctant I didn't try that until after my 20 days um, that I started trying that and I haven't seen a, a gain or anything from that so I know you know people who are very very strict protocol would not really approve of that but again I just try to find things that are pretty comparable to the nutritional facts of what um, Dr. Simeon's did allow and trying to see if I can find a variation that is, you know, the same nutritional value, same nutrition um, as what that was. So that has done pretty good for us. So we'll put that in a tortilla or something. So I also have lettuce drying for the day. I uh, washed it and dried it and I'll put it in a Ziploc bag and press all the air out. Keep that in the fridge. What else is going on in here? Um, we're growing lettuce. We have made a small aquaponic uh, farm um, table downstairs and call it aquaponic bed, grow bed. We in Hawaii we're doing um, aquaponic farming and we're growing about oh between six to six hundred to a thousand heads of lettuce um, a week that we would harvest. And so we're trying to figure out how to make a smaller version. Making big is really easy, but making the smaller ones a little bit harder. So, so again, so that soup is boiling now. And I'll probably actually turn it to a simmer now. Um, another good thing to do with this soup is to put some spinach in it. Um, I don't have any spinach, so I'm not doing that. So that's another really good thing. Um, I think yesterday I did... Uh, hit it with a shot of the, the Bragg's amino acid or liquid amino not acid um, liquid amino so I'm going to put a shot of that in there and then the um, shallots and that's going to be my lunch today um, sorry it was really long and blah blah blah, blah. Um, I think it's just being sick and I probably have a fever but just don't haven't taken my temperature so I think it was very scatterbrain-ish, uh, so I apologize for that. So I hope everything is going well for everyone else, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.